Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a nozzle of a vacuum cleaner in Katia V5. So on the right side you can see the completed design and on the left side you can see all the different views which are required for our design here. So to start off I'm going to open up a mechanical design and part design workbench and I will name the file. So I'm going to name it as a nozzle of vacuum cleaner study right I'll just click on OK and you get the new uh, file here to start off we need to analyze the drawing first so we have the different views over here the side view the front and the back view here so what you're going to do exactly is uh, you're going to <coughs> use the side view here and you're going to create a sketch so to start off I'll just select the ZX plane here and I'll click on the sketch command and once I click on the sketch command you get the uh, you get inside the sketch workbench so I'm gonna do this uh, particular sketch here use the profile tool and do the sketch make the angle between them as 140 this distance is a 68.8 and this particular distance is 60.5 alright and this angle as you can see here is 26 degrees so we get all the uh, constraints done here the next thing what you need to do is come out of the sketch alright <coughs> now select the YZ plane here and give sketch and in the YZ plane you're going to simply input a point somewhere in the edge so you're doing this uh, particular step so that you can create a plane where you're going to do the base uh, base feature sketch so now the third thing what you need to do is you need to select the create plane option and in this select through three points and select this point this point and this point and just click on OK and you got the new plane over here now just come into this plane and give sketch make sure that you're selecting the new plane so select this new plane here and give on sketch and the next thing you need to do is you need to create this uh, base sketch here so I'm gonna do that base sketch just leave it here so this is the easiest way you can uh, you know do the symmetry sketch we didn't have uh, just connect this and this and again connect this and this right here now just start giving the dimension for all this this is 55 degrees this is uh, 65 this height is say 10 this height is 25 this length right here is 66 and this is 132 so you can see it's totally constrained and uh, you need to <coughs> see that there is a small degree uh, angle over here so what you can do is just delete this uh, vertical and move this a little bit you can delete this and use an axis line here and give an angle of 3.5 
3 degrees over here and then from this point to this point vertical measurement get done so the same thing must have happened over here because I've already given symmetry so that's what I said this is the easiest way you can do because uh, once you do this on the left side give a symmetry you don't have to uh, do the same thing over and over again on the right side and that's all just come out of the sketch and do our uh, first um, <coughs> first padding here so select this and you need to give 14 on the length spinner and give on the mirror extent just click on the preview and you can see the first uh, padding is being done another thing to keep in mind is you need to go to the more option and disable this uh, direction function and select the reference and select the base XY plane so you get the uh, direction of padding normal to the XY plane so uh, this changing of uh, the uh, what is that the uh, direction of the padding is being explained very well in my uh, previous tutorials so this tutorial is all about the design of uh, what do you say the the vacuum cleaner the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner so I'll be emphasizing more on the design and if you want to uh, learn more about the padding options etc you need to go back to my previous tutorial and watch and learn and just click on OK and you get this uh, first uh, base feature being created so we'll see how we need to go ahead with the design and this design is pretty easy and this is gonna give you a lot of idea about how you need to go with the designs and the product modeling etc and if you have any doubts clarifications you can write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com ctia.pro.user at gmail.com and you can all also comment on uh, below my video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as I find time you can uh, hand over me projects if you have any any CAD related projects and I'll be uh, handling it for you that, that can also be done by me and that's all thank you so much and uh, stay tuned guys